the last week of the group stage is upon us now and it starts with uh, the title holder Sunrisers Hyderabad against the title favourites Mumbai Indians. Match number 48 of IPL 2017 will be the last group stage game at the Rajiv Gandhi Stadium before the final returns here on May the 21st. It is a massive game for Hyderabad who find themselves uh, with a bit of a sp in a bit of a spot with 13 points, just the two games to go. And there's a chance that they could have four teams on 16 at the end of the group stage. So, they must win uh, this game against Mumbai. Sean Tate and Sanjay Bangar with me. I want to get their thoughts. I'm sure they're itching to go uh, at this game because it's two good teams. Let's enter match day, match point number one straight away then. We're talking about Shikhar Dhawan. We've spoken of him before and how the strike rate's been a bit of a problem. But a strong second half for Hyderabad. He's been one of the things that's gone right in this recent record where they've not won too much. Let's have a look at Shikhar Dhawan's season broken up in 2017. Strike Strike rate gents of 112 and a half uh, uh, in the first five games, average of 27. Last six games though, he's uh, picked it up. Strike rate of 136, striking a boundary more often in the power play, getting Hyderabad to a quicker start. Sanjay Bangar, this was one question or complaint of Shikhar Dhawan, especially the pressure that it was putting on Warner. That seems to have uh, been fixed to a degree, but you still want Shikhar, I think, to bat a bit longer. Your thoughts, 45 seconds. A clear uh, change of roles for, for somebody like Shikhar, because earlier he was probably given a role to bat in the 10th or 12th over and make sure that they have wickets in hand, because most of the batting has been revolving around the top four. Uh, the, the last three batsmen, no, no, batsmen batting at number five, six and seven have only scored 9% of the runs so far for them. So, they were heavily reliant on the top order. Yes, Shikhar uh, yes, has been a bit slow, but uh, in the previous games, he's been using this area behind square leg really well. And he's also dancing down the wicket uh, against the seamers to create room through the offside. So, that, this is augering well for uh, a team like Hyderabad. Yeah. And uh, with the inclusion of Williamson, the clear change of roles has definitely helping Shikhar Dhawan. Perfect. You've aced the 45-second <laughs> format. Not a, not a second of doubt. Uh, Sean Tate, as a result of that, let's just have a look at how the partnerships for Hyderabad have uh, been affected in a positive way at the top. The opening partnerships in the first six matches averaged uh, 35 with a net run rate of a little over 7 or 7.5. Seven and the average now is uh, 65 in the last five games. It includes a great uh, innings by David Warner against Kolkata. I'm just trying to think whether David Warner now towards the end needs a little bit of help. It's been a long summer. We've seen him start tired, had that crazy inning, innings against Kolkata and again looks a bit tired at times. Shikhar Dhawan might actually be an important player if Hyderabad are to make it through. Your thoughts, 45 seconds. Oh, yeah, Shikhar's a hugely important player, but I think it... it his strike rate gets highlighted because he's batting with David Warner and uh, you know, Warner's performing so well, so it's, it's getting talked about. But the fact that he's got David at the other end, it, it means he doesn't have to play loose shots all the time and move his game along. He can, he can actually afford to bat with it in himself at times and, and build his innings. So, But at the end of the day, he's performing now. He's performing at the right time of the, of the season. But an interesting statistic, if you, if you like, he hasn't made any runs in day matches. So for some reason, I don't know if the wickets are slower during the day or they, they do talk about sometimes the wicket being a bit tacky in the daytime and he hasn't performed in the day, so he's a nocturnal animal. <laughs> Shikhar Dhawan. Yeah. This match is in the evening, so that should work for our nocturnal Shikhar Dhawan. And uh, dare I say, by the time this game happens, he might well find himself in India's Champions Trophy squad. Maybe that will ease up some pressure and we'll see the best of Shikhar Dhawan. Hyderabad certainly need that. Let's move to match day match point number two now. As far as Mumbai go, my God, uh, whoever comes in their way is just being uh, turned into ash now. Harbhajan Singh, the quiet contributor uh, in these games. We've spoken so much of their batting prowess, some of the hitters in the middle order and the pacers doing the job. Harbhajan Singh, who was benched for the first game by Mahila Jayavardhane and uh, Rohit Sharma. And now, if you look at how he's gone in 2017, he's one of the most economical bowlers. In fact, the most economical bowler going at under six. All spinners in that list, uh, Sanjay Bangar, Pawan Negi 6.14. Maxwell's had a couple of good shifts. And Rashid Khan, for the amount he's bowled, that's an excellent economy rate to have. Uh, let's get Harbhajan Singh's thoughts. That uh, little kick up the backside in the first game seems to have brought out the best. We don't associate quiet contributor with Harbhajan, but uh, how good has he been for Mumbai? Your thoughts? Well, Sean is from Adelaide yeah. and Adelaide is known for their wines and he's getting better with, as, as, as wine gets Very better wise. with age, yeah. That's right. uh, so is Harbhajan Singh. And what's working in his favour is that his mindset, he's always bold with that attacking mindset. 
uh, and uh, that is very evident when the off spinner starts his first over from over the wicket. Most off spinners in a shorter format or in T20 cricket start from round the wicket yeah. and their lines are from middle and leg stump. But here he is uh, uh, an off spinner who is not afraid to being hit and then he's having those variations. The ball, uh, the dusra that he started to bowl mm. yesterday, we saw that he got a wicket of that ball. And when the batsman steps out against him, he has also got a very good Yorker. So mm. he's got the entire variety and because of that, uh, he's uh, topping the charts. Okay, uh, perfect again from Sanjay Bhangar. Now let's look at Harbhajan Singh over the years. The wine uh, uh, analogy that's been drawn, the <laughs> metaphor for Harbhajan Singh is that uh, he indeed has gotten better and better. Uh, slightly poor season by his standards, if you look at 2016, an economy of 8. But this year is more than made up for it, going at under 6 like we've already established. Uh, off spinners are almost a threatened or an endangered species now, Sean. Yeah. Barring Narayan and Washington Sundar, who bowls very differently. Albertin seems to be the only one who gets a game uh, regularly. What's he got working for him that some of the other offies aren't? And maybe something they could learn from the experience uh, Mumbai spinner. Yeah, that's, that's definitely the one thing. Experience is what he's got on his side. But um, I think with him, it's not just his game. He, he brings that presence. Um, you know, he's, he's not in the batsman's face as such, but he's there. You know he's there. Um, he's animated. Um, he, he really gets himself into the game if it's having a laugh or, or talking to the batter. But he, you know he's aggressive in his approach, and you actually don't see that too often anymore mm. with a lot of the younger guys. You know they, they bowl the ball, they go back and bowl. There's no mm. animation, so I think he's, he, he you know he brings that presence with him, and he's become a bit of a glue there for Mumbai now. So um, the other thing is he's he's old, mm. so he's relaxed. <laughs> he doesn't care about getting hit. You know he doesn't care anymore. So. That carefree attitude, I think, with his bowling is, is helping him as well. All right. So, Harbhajan Singh, big against uh, the scores of left-handers that uh, Sunrisers Hyderabad have in their uh, top order. Let's move to our next match day match point now. And we're keeping the conversation going on Mumbai. Kyron Pollard has proven his mettle uh, once again for Mumbai. He does it every now and then. And when Pollard has a good season, Mumbai have a phenomenal season. We'll come to that in a bit. Let's look at... Uh, Kyron Pollard and uh, some of the achievements or the small the contributions have been so significant, gents. 70 against Bangalore when uh, Mumbai won a spot of all that 7 for 4, taking them home, uh, almost seeing it through to the end. Scoring 39 of 23 and adding 68 with Rohit in the game where he uh, was getting tense when Mumbai beat Gujarat at the 1K day. Came in at number 3 and scored 63 against Delhi. That was a bit of a surprise move, but took on Amit Mishra and the shorter boundaries of the Kotla. And then 10 runs, we can't forget that, in the Super Over against Gujarat. Uh, which, uh, of course, proved to be pivotal in, uh, again, tilting two points in favour of Mumbai. Sean, Kyron Pollard, uh, impact player. We speak of Chris Gale, impact player, Dwayne Smith. Somehow they've gone quiet here. Kyron Pollard, though, just gets this best out uh, for Mumbai. Just take me through how good he's been this season, 45 seconds. Yeah, I mean, sometimes he gets criticised about not being consistent with his performances. But if you look over the years with Mumbai, you're right. I mean, he's, he's a big game player. He steps up when the team needs him, um, doesn't shy away. And he, I know Polly pretty well, I've played with him quite a bit and he sets really high standards for himself. And when he doesn't perform, he gets so disappointed. You know, he's in the net straight away working on his game. Um, you saw it the other night with the leg spinner. He used to struggle with leg spinners yeah. a lot. Now he's, he's obviously gone and worked at it and you know, he was knocking him over the fence for fun. So um, yeah, he's a professional, big game player um, and he's comfortable in the Mumbai setup. He's been there a long time. So when he's comfortable, he's one of those guys when he's comfortable, Everything's going well for him off the field, with the team, he's comfortable on the field. Uh, Mumbai certainly not to make Pollard feel at home. I mean, yeah. he's been very happy at that franchise. Sanjay, the use of Pollard, used differently at different times. Let's just show you how Pollard has been over those uh, key seasons. Now, 2013 and 15 are the two years that Mumbai won the IPL. Scored over 400 runs. Uh, so, whenever Pollard scores over 400, Mumbai seems to win the title. Uh, strike rate's a bit lower than those years. Uh, and maybe I, I, I want you to tell me, maybe that's a factor that he's playing more responsibly or playing a bit differently. He could very well get there to 400. It's uh, just a few matter of a few games or a couple of big innings. But just your thoughts, is Pollard's role been altered a little or has he just got more responsible with, with age? And of course, we can't forget there's a big auction coming up next year. Your thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, in the, he's played for Mumbai. This is his seventh season now and he's only been used at number three on three occasions, which includes the game yesterday. So, 
there is a clear change of plan as far as the management, how the management thinks about him. You saw about the strike rates. Yes, the strike rates were higher in 2013 and 15, but that is more because you play lesser number of balls, the strike rate goes up. Mm. Here he is playing far more number of balls and hence the strike rate tends to come down. So, he is being used differently. Uh, Sean said that how he was, uh, uh, he has been brilliant against the leg spinners. You saw in the previous game, the shot that he hit, I mean, he hit uh, six off the back foot. Uh, a straight hit. So, he's been doing it differently and uh, he's been the second highest run scorer now, also ec eclipsing somebody like a Rohit Sharma. So, he's uh, taking that responsibility really well. Okay, Kyron Pollard, big player, big match player. Now, big matches coming up for Mumbai as they've uh, become the first team to secure a spot in the playoffs. Let's uh, move to our next match day match point now and Hyderabad need to become, we thought that they would secure a place in the playoffs a lot sooner than this. As of now, it's uh, not looking very good for David Warner's side. They've lost a bit of momentum, uh, two defeats on the trot. Let's just look at how their season's broken up. Uh, and gents, they won uh, five games out of the first six. And now in the last six, they've only managed the two. A, no, a washout at the Chinnaswamy didn't help their cause. And three losses, two to Pune and uh, then to the Delhi Daredevils. They've just, just, I don't know what's going wrong, but uh, if you look at uh, Dave, the problems for David Warner's side, Sean, how do you pick them up now? He's got Warner, you've got Moody, I'm sure you've been texting them. So do <laughs> tell me the challenge that lies for the leadership of this uh, team, because if they lose here, it could become very, very tricky. 45 seconds. To you. Yeah, it, it doesn't look great at the moment, but I don't think David Warner's a top uh, captain to be concerned about any of this. You know, he's a positive person, he stays upbeat. But they play Mumbai next and, and they've got a pretty good record against Mumbai, so it's, it's, it's not a bad thing going into this game as well. And then I think they've got about four days off after this game. And at this stage of the season, it's not a bad time to have four days to go back, recharge, chill out in the hotel, um, get your thoughts together um, and, and just relax and then going into the, into the playoffs if they're there. And, you know, with four days of rest under the belt, it's not bad. But their away record's a little bit of a concern. It's not, it's not the best, but um, the final's in Hyderabad, so if they get there, mm. they'll be hard to beat. So, no panic button just yet? I you don't think so. Moody and, and Warner wouldn't be the kind to say, guys, we lose this, no. we could very well be out. I think they're too good a side to panic. Mm. I mean, look at their bowling attack and, you know, Yuvraj is playing really well now as well. So, I, I don't think they've got too much to worry about. Okay, well, sounds good if uh, you're a Hyderabad fan. Let's look at the run-in uh, for the last two games. What happens if they don't uh, get it right against Mumbai? Well, that makes it very tricky. They've got a game at Kanpur. We haven't seen much of Kanpur this season. Uh, but it's against a team that's already out of the tournament. But Sanjay, we must be real. If they lose this game against Mumbai and inform Mumbai, they can only get to 15 points. And that'll put a spring in the step of Punjab, who've been in, in their chase, and even the other teams around them. This game becomes... A do or die for them almost. Your thoughts, 45 seconds. Well, Tom Moody is one who's always uh, 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 put a lot of emphasis on the bowling lineup being very strong and he's wanting to have those uh, overseas quicks there. Now, what's happened in this year, this season is that uh, he's, he's opted for Rashid Khan as their fifth, as their fourth overseas bowler who played maximum number of matches and uh, in the previous season, Moses Hendricks bowled 52 overs and in this season, he's hardly bowled 22 overs. So, clearly, uh, they're lacking in that overseas fast bowling department. Mustafizur has only played one game for them and hence, it's putting a lot of pressure on the on the Indian seamers with Ashish Nehra uh, not sure of his fitness. Yes. I think it's high time that uh, Hyderabad considers uh, playing cutting ahead of Hendricks. Okay. Well. Let's go straight to that then. The picking the 11s, you have to pick them very carefully now because Hyderabad, the team that's had two defeats, you think there will be some changes because they have to get this game right uh, and they have to try and do away perhaps with some of the players that haven't quite performed. So let's get Sanjay Bangar and Sean Tate to pick uh, the playing 11. Sanjay has already given you a hint on uh, how he would change things around as far as Hyderabad's bowling is concerned. And indeed, he brings in Ben Cutting for Moses Andrix, who's not quite had uh, the season he had last season with either bat or ball. The other change you make, Sanjay, is you bring back Deepak Huda at the expense of Bipul Sharma. And we know that Ashish Nehra has been ruled out for this one. So back in comes uh, the young uh, right arm seamer, Mohamed Siraj. Uh, you've had seen a little bit of questions, doubt over whether he's got a slight calf nickel, but as of now, no official word that he's out of this. Ben Cutting and Deepak Huda, your thoughts, uh, Sanjay, on those two selections? Well, Ben Cutting, I've, I've always been saying that uh, 
Henrikis is not giving enough with the ball. He's only bowled 22 overs as against 52 overs that he bowled in the last season. Uh, and hence, you require somebody of his quality, somebody of cutting's quality because he's one who can bowl the heavy ball, hits the, hits the deck hard, has the variations required and uh, he won't be, he's not uh, no mug with the bat as well because he always contributes with the bat. Remember that uh, those couple of innings that he played towards the end of the previous edition. So, he could be a very good replacement for Henry Kays and uh, Huda purely for the reason that yes, uh, Bipul Sharma has been doing them bits and pieces but uh, Huda I feel is a better batsman than Bipul. Sharma. Okay, and they certainly needed somebody to finish it off last game. Didn't get that. Let's move to uh, Sean Tate picking the Mumbai team. Well, Sean, we've moved you from the basement to the penthouse. Got you to do the Bangalore and Gujarat teams a day back. Now you're picking the, the possible champions of this season. Uh, you stick with Lendl Simmons at the top. The other changes, of course, if Krunal Pandya is uh, fit, then he comes straight back in. So, no other changes that you uh, are making. So, you don't want to give anybody else some game time as uh, the playoffs come up. Your thoughts on this team, Sean? Yeah, I think, um, I mean, I just see a team full of luxuries, really. They've got, um, you know, they've, they've taken Joss Butler out of the team to bring Simmons in and he performs. Um, you know, Krunal, if he's fit, comes back in, but Sharma was pretty good as well. So he, yeah. he'd probably have to go out, but he, he performed really well. So the guys in the in the wings, you know, there's some really good players. Obviously, Maling Malinga showing his worth, showing he's still got it. Um, and instead of him, you could pick Johnson. So, I mean, some of the players that they, they can bring in if they, if they want to, um, there's a lot of luxuries there for those guys, but they've also, I mean, coming to this stage of the tournament, you're playing well, you don't want to tinker with your team too much um, and keep it re reasonably consistent, so. Alright, simple as that. Sanjay Bangar, I do want a prediction from you, you'll be with us for the live show. Sean Tate, you won't, so I want a prediction from you. Hyderabad or Mumbai? <sighs> I just talked about Hyderabad, how they've got no problems, and now I'm going to say... Mumbai? I'm going to, no, I'm yeah. going to say Hyderabad. Ah, I thought it would be consistent with the rest <laughs> of your work here. But thank you very much, Sean Tate. A pleasure. Sanjay, you too. You. Now, you can get uh, Sanjay's thoughts on our live show along with Akash Chopra for this game, 7.30 p.m. on the website as well as on our Facebook page. And send your questions to our panel, please, as we enter the final stage of the group phase. Uh, do, send, uh, do check out our content on Facebook as well as uh, YouTube. It's a big week in the IPL. We hope to have your company for all the analysis around the same.